What's going on guys? It's Jeremy, back again with another exploration. So today we're in Southern Georgia and we're about to explore this very sad time capsule of an old lady who used to live here. She died in this house nearly 30 years ago and all of her stuff is left behind. And when I say all of her stuff, I'm talking jewelry, letters, all of her clothes, all of her furniture, everything is still in here. At any rate, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the exterior of this place and I'm gonna give you some history on it. Let's hop to it. Mrs. Smith grew up in a small country town just two hours outside of Atlanta, Georgia. She was born in this town, got married in this town, and eventually raised all four of her sons in this town. But tragically, her husband had died in a car accident while her sons were still young, and she was left to raise them by herself. The love she had for her sons is what kept her going managing to pay the bills with her job at the local elementary school and leaning on her church family when finances became too hard to maintain. Eventually, her sons, all being close to the same age, grew up and joined various branches of the military, taking each of them far away from the only place they'd ever known. And with that, Mrs. Smith was left all by herself in the town she grew up in, the town she married in, and eventually, the town she died in. One morning in the winter of 1999, Mrs. Smith got up like she did every other day. She made her morning coffee, fed the cats, and folded her laundry before leaving for work when suddenly she suffered a massive heart attack and died in the living room of her home, surrounded by photos of her beloved sons and the knickknacks she had collected over the course of her life. Soon after, the house that was filled with so much love and memories became only a decaying monument for the wonderful lady who used to call it home. For some unknown reason, her sons never came and got any of her things, nor did they claim the property, leaving the home completely abandoned. So join me as I step inside of this once beautiful place and let's take a look at what's left inside of Mrs. Smith's home. Okay, so this is coming up the driveway. And look at this beauty. This thing just sitting here abandoned. Can't believe people just leave stuff like this behind. I don't recognize the make or model of this car. If any of you guys know what kind of car this is, let me know in the comments below. Really cool looking car. It looks like there's probably a garage out here or some kind of shed. Wow, look at this side porch. It's very decayed. This thing's falling in on itself. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we have an open door. All right, well, here goes nothing. Let's look and see what's inside. Wow. Wow, it is very, very dilapidated in this first room. Whoa, immediately I hear a kitten. I don't know where it's coming from, but it sounds like it's probably from the next room over. It's probably scared thinking that I'm a predator. Look at this drywall, how it's fallen off the ceiling and all into the floor. Water does crazy things to buildings, but it looks like otherwise this place is in immaculate condition. We got a kitchen here. The kitten meowing is definitely getting louder. And check it out, we got a fridge with stuff in it. Oh, and 
look at all these magnets. This is so sad. All her magnets. Got some ice cream still left in the, the freezer. <laughs> And look at this, there's still dishes out on the drying rack. She had no idea that the day she did these dishes, it would be her last day. It's like the kitchen's completely set up just the way it was the day she died. And look at this, the calendar's dated December, 1999. these coffee mugs still here. She collected all these little can caps. There's hundreds of them. And these little spice bottles. We got Jesus up here breaking bread. A little dining room table. A quaint little kitchen for sure. Man, look at all of this stuff just left behind. All of these spices. A lot of it doesn't even look opened. These coffee mugs hanging from the wall. Got some artwork of the state of Tennessee. I don't know what all these are. Oh, these are all, these are coffee cans. A tea can, sugar, and look at this. It's a serving tray, the photo of a bar. Look at this, we got more serving trays back here. Looks like there's a pantry right here. glassware still left behind. Definitely simpler glassware of a nice humble lady. All these plates still left behind. Everything's here. It's wild. The family just didn't come and get anything. All of her things are still left behind. Looks like we have a formal dining room with all these decorations here in the corner, still left here, untouched since 1999. Looks like we have maybe a bedroom over here with a really cool wicker rocking chair. Look at this, guys. This is probably her son, maybe with his high school sweetheart. And this looks like him when he was little. It just baffles me that all of this stuff is left here and no one's come to, to claim it. What is this? Kentucky bourbon. like tablecloths and linens. More tablecloths and linens in here. And look at this table with all of these photos in the background of all her family. You can already tell that she loved her family so much. And it's so sad that they were all she had and they didn't even come to claim any of this stuff. And this living room looks amazing. It's a complete time capsule in this room. Look at all of this stuff in this cabinet. It's a really pretty cabinet. Of course it's locked, but look, looks like this is the key to it, possibly. 
Well, I don't think so. I think someone crammed that in there trying to get this thing open and they couldn't. We'll never know what's in these cabinets here. And look at this. Here's our sons that went into the military. It looks like he was in the Army Airborne Division. This one right here went into the Navy. This photo looks like it was taken during some kind of training exercise. And it looks like he went into the Army as well. I imagine she was so proud of her sons. Man, all the drawers in this, in this house so far are absolutely stuffed, are absolutely stuffed. And look at this beautiful glass chandelier hanging up top. Or crystal chandelier. See, even though this was a nice, like humble country home I am seeing some bold items like this lamp. Look at this. Really interesting looking lamp. I don't think I've ever seen one like this. That is a bizarre lampshade. Very cool though. And a matching one over here on the other side of the couch. So many little knickknacks out on the coffee table here. All this fake fruit. Pretty adorable, really. It looks like a Victrola. Basically, the record player goes down in here and you store your records in there. And these are speakers down here at the bottom. And look at this, it looks like perhaps a, yeah, a military regiment. This is in 1982, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. That's so neat. So yeah, you can definitely see that this family had a strong military background. Look at this, I have another bedroom here, the very cool looking headboard and a piano in the bedroom, which you never really see a piano in a bedroom like this. It's very interesting. Maybe they just didn't have another, a better place to put it. I'm kind of sensing that uh, there was quite a bit of stuff that's hoarded in this house. I bet you this was her husband that passed away. And I bet you this is her on her wedding day. There's so many family photos in this house. This woman definitely loved her family. It's almost like a shrine dedicated to her family. in this wardrobe here. I have a purse, a very shiny purse. And this room is incredible, guys. And you can see how all this drywall is just completely fallen from the studs. these little knickknacks. This lady definitely liked knickknacks. There's knickknacks everywhere in this house. This is cool looking. Um, we'll go right. We have a closet here. All of her dresses, 
still left behind. Look at this. And look, this one's still brand new with the tag. And it looks like a, looks almost like a wedding gown. Check this out. It almost looks like the gown in that photo. And I wonder if it is. If you guys think it is, let me know in the comments below. Let's keep going further along into the house. Looks like we got a bedroom here, another bedroom. This house is surprisingly big. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but it seems like it just keeps going. And it's kind of a maze. And this dresser is just full of stuff. I mean, they really did just leave everything behind. Look at this, all these gowns. Looks like nightgowns. And guys, I didn't even notice this on the top. There's jewelry here, still left behind. This is incredible. And again, more family photos, of course. I know I've said it before, but you can really tell that this woman loved her family. Oh my God, and look at this, guys. All of this jewelry that's still left behind. Holy cow, they really didn't come back for any of this. Earrings, bracelets, necklaces. This is wild. So I'm definitely not a jewelry expert, but I imagine some of this jewelry might be worth some money. Are there any jewelry experts out there that could let me know what we're seeing in the comments below? What is this? More necklaces. And look, a ring that's missing the diamond. Put this back. God, look at this. So I don't know anything about jewelry. So I imagine most of this is costume jewelry. I can't really tell what's high quality and what's not. But um, it's pretty astonishing that this stuff is just still here like this. God, there's so much of it. Look at this, guys. Jewelry for days in here. I cannot believe that this stuff is all just still sitting here in this house. This is so sad. I feel like this was her bedroom because you know, it's closest to the kitchen and I bet you there's a bathroom very close by. When you're old like that, you need to be even the most accessible part of the house. Money purse, it looks like. Sunglasses. All of these old letters, look at this guys. It's dated for 1976. Poor old lady, all of her things, everything she owned and worked for is all in this house. Let's keep going further along, shall we? So now we're coming back around to the living room where we originally came in at. Looks like we got a bathroom right here. A nice quaint little bathroom. Her towels are still hanging up. 
above the tub, her little decorations above the tub. This is so sad. And look at this. A photo of John F. Kennedy. They used to sit there on the shelf. Oh, and look at this. Interesting. A little skeleton key hanging up next to the door. Yeah, I feel like she definitely liked to collect things. <laughs> Needless to say, it's all throughout the house. All these little details, all on the wall, all her little knickknacks. Here's another calendar for 1999. We have yet another bedroom back here. So much stuff here, guys. It's kind of overwhelming, really. Small book collection on these bookshelves that are built into the wall. Also very interesting, this little shelf that's built into the wall has these curtains that would cover it up. And look at this tiny TV. And check this out. We got Smith & Wesson 9mm rounds. Someone was packing heat. Once upon a time. Man. And this bottle of table wine is completely full. And this tiny bed. Maybe for grandkids when they came over. Man, every single drawer, every single cabinet, Every single wardrobe in this house is completely filled. Moths love wool. Knickknacks everywhere, guys. Look at all this. These little ducks. All these little things. It's pretty adorable, really. Very curious to know what's behind here. Oh, it looks like, oh, it's just a TV stand. Okay. Check this out. It's a very old TV. Look at that stand that it's on. I don't think this is a color TV either. Some primitive technology here. So there's one last section of the house, I believe. And it's right over here. And check this out. This is a, it looks like the master bedroom for sure. Like every other room, there's so much stuff in here. And so many family photos. I wonder where all these people are today. All her coats in this wardrobe. Looks like a fur coat back there. Looks like a couple of them actually. Big pieces of artwork still hanging on the wall. And look at this dresser. It looks similar to the ones that we saw in the bedroom next to the kitchen. And of course, it's full of stuff. Oh, I wonder what this is. Wow, I think this right here used to be a little music machine. If anybody knows what this is, let me know in the comments below. 
All these drawers are stuck. And check this out. We have a Singer sewing machine table. With all the sewing supplies still inside of it. I feel like someone probably came and stole the, the sewing machine itself. Unfortunately. It's another one of her sons, probably when he graduated high school. I'm just amazed at how much stuff is in this house. In this tiny house, she managed to cram all of this stuff in here. I can only imagine the love that she had for her family. She was so proud of them. You can tell from all the photos that we're seeing. So as you can see, this is quite a sad place. It's all too common that I come across abandoned places that are left like this because someone died and they were completely forgotten along with all of their things. I can only hope that the love that she had for her grandchildren was passed down through the generations that she helped bring into the world. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got something from it. Either way, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Like, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and until next time, stay off the beaten path. Thank you.